Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. card on the mag mile the vanilla visa card wouldn't work even though she had just bought it with cash the card issuer wouldn't help her so she turned to us cbs 2's lauren victory has this cautionary tale 135 dollars is a lot of money to me and i wasn't going to just walk away from it gwen thompson headed downtown for a fun shopping day one merchant would not accept cash, so she went to this Walgreens to buy a vanilla Visa card. She plunked down 135 bucks plus 595 for a fee, but the card would not work. It was declined um, for insufficient funds. Declined on June 7th, and the Tinley Park woman just got the card to work this week, but it wasn't easy and took the help of a TV station. I called the 1 800 number and waited online for about two hours, and uh, then the call was disconnected. Gwen even sent a screen grab. That's more than 90 minutes into a call. Listen to how she passed the marathon on hold time. So I just turned on a really good movie. I think I put on like Shawshank Redemption, and I just said I'm going to need, um, you know, to be entertained for a while. Two life sentences. Back. While the good guy escapes prison at the end of the classic movie, Gwen's gift card hell continued. I wasn't prepared to just be out of my money. Gwen sent email after email, six in all. Check out the subject line, all ignored. And I just remember you guys. I said I'm going to get in touch with you guys. A few days later, a resolution, sort of. Gwen got her money, but no explanation and no way to follow up. The fraud department wrote her from a customer unfriendly do not reply email box. I went to Channel 2 for help. Gwen is definitely not alone. We found nearly 1,500 complaints on the Better Business Bureau website in the past three years and another 2,000 for Vanilla's parent company. Many gripes, like Gwen's, are about the inability to use a purchased card. Other consumer sites give the company an average rating of just above one out of five. That's why Gwen wanted to spread the word instead of suffering in silence. That madness has to go into some kind of action, and that's what I did. You can really feel her frustration. Well, CBS2 pressed Vanilla for an explanation about Gwen's card issues and the large number of complaints in general. No answers on that. But we do have answers on what you can do to fight your own case tonight at 10. We've reported on many stories involving bureaucratic bungles and the seemingly lost art of customer service. Tonight, I'll share real solutions to help you be your own best advocate. Again, that's on our news at 10. So, Lauren, do they sell these vanilla cards? Cards in other locations, and what did Walgreens say about all this? Uh, they sell them in many different different locations, grocery stores, big box stores, oh. and uh, we'll check in with. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.